Um, so easy question. How did you get into music? Like I love figuring out how artists discover music. Most of us aren't born like I want to do music. Um, so tell me about that. Um, so actually no one in my family is a musician. Really? Um, the only one. Um, but my my parents always had like a very big love of music and mm -hmm. especially um, like Motown music and all that. So I was raised with that and right. just loved that. Um, loved singing ever since I was like five. Okay. Loved writing lyrics. Um, not that they were good. Right. But <laughs> I actually have lyrics that I wrote when I was like six or seven. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so I never really thought I would do it as a career though until high school. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I switched from public school to homeschooling. And I had a lot of time to delve into um, songwriting and mm -hmm. actually producing my songs and like getting them um, out there. Right. Um, and that's when I realized I that God put that um, on my heart as a career. Gotcha. So. And perfect segue. Uh, cause the next question was going to be how I love talking to Christian artists about how you end up saying, I want to mix my religion and my belief in God with my music where like for me, I, so I'm a rapper and I used to never listen to Christian rap. I just listened to like mainstream stuff. Like Lil Wayne was kind of my big introduction to rap. So far, far away from Christian hip hop. So there's always like a story about how you go from listening to like mainstream radio type stuff to like, Oh, I want to make, this music that uh, incorporates my faith. Right. Well, faith, my faith is the biggest part of me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I could not talk about it if I tried. Right. Um, it inspires me the most out of anything. It's my lens for how I view the world. Mm -hmm. So um, when I go to write songs, even if it's about love or like, honestly anything it's mm -hmm. still through that lens of faith so it just ends up being about god anyway got you got you um, yeah but i don't really know what i was gonna say after that oh you're, you're fine so, <laughs> it's funny because so before i even knew what christian like hip-hop was or like that that was a genre mm -hmm. um i used to just write songs and kind of like what you said i was just writing from my vantage point and i grew up going to church so they always they kind of ended up being about God to the point where some people were like, yo, like, is this a Christian album? And I was like, it wasn't supposed to be, but I mean, I guess, I guess it is. Um, so then I, that's what pushed me towards becoming like a Christian hip hop artist. Um, but it's just funny how like we write about what we know and what's in our heart anyway. Yeah. So it's almost like even without the the title, your music would still probably have that that topic. Mm hmm. Um, not gonna lie, so when I was younger, I would say like, you know how we all go through this identity crisis type thing when we're younger? That's good. Like, yeah, kind of. Like, you you don't want to be like... Be friends, indie friends. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so do, do wonders like AI anomalies. Her I know that, right? Saga, who was on, on, on St. Beats. You're definitely more lyrical, so like you're not... I actually knew a guy in Miami that he was going to the same gym. And I tweeted like last week that someday I'm gonna have a song with him. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. Um, so... <laughs>